Hello, this is John. Welcome back to another product food review that I'm going to do. Another one that I got from an Asian country this time. This is from Malaysia. This is called Mami, maybe it's Mamie. I'm not sure exactly how they pronounce it, but it's the Monster Snack. And as you can see, the little picture he's holding, the monster's holding a little brick that looks like ramen noodles. That's essentially what it is. But you're not going to cook this up and eat it, you're just going to eat it right out of the bag as a snack. So they give you little instructions. See the little monster on the back telling you what to do there. <clears throat> Step one is supposed to be put some seasoning in it and crunch it. So the seasoning comes in these little packs, kind of like you would get in a ramen noodle pack. I opened it up already just because the uh, seasoning was kind of like in a little disc and I had to break it up. So it would actually be able to stick to things and not just be one little disc sitting on top of it. But anyway, you add the seasoning to the snack, then you crunch it up. Then step two is you shake it up to the hold the top. You have your shake. And then step three, munch it. I'm going to pour it back out into this bowl, though. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's just like uh, ramen noodles broken up. A little seasoning on it. This is supposed to be Persia barbecue flavor. They're crunchy like little potato chips. Some salty savoriness to it. In the United States, I don't think we would call this really a barbecue flavor. I think we typically think of barbecue, we think of barbecue sauce. And I don't think that's really the flavor they're going for here. It's a crunchy little snack. A good thing to throw in. For like a lunch and let's have like a bag of chips. Essentially does the same thing for you. Crunchy, salty, savory. That's the mommy monster. Persia barbecue flavor. Now these come in multi-packs. You buy a big bag and you get a multi-pack and they're all usually one flavor. And then recently what they've done is in every every so often in each bag they'll throw in a bonus one and you actually don't know if you're getting it or not until you open the bag and that is this one the mommy monster which says eat at your own risk you see it's black and blue and at the top here there's a little pepper warning um, it says Mungik Tidak. I'm not sure what that exactly means, but what I'm told is that this means is ghost pepper. So this brick, it's the same thing as this one, except if you look at it, the noodles are black. And the steps for this is the same. You throw in seasoning, crunch it up, shake it up munch it up. So I'm not going to put in another seasoning form for this one just because I think it's going to be wasted with all the pepperiness in here. But I'm going to crunch it. And I'm going to pour it out into this bowl. And now I'm going to attempt to eat this and see how terribly hot it is. See, the noodles are completely black. I'm going to get a decent sized chunk here. It is spicy. I can feel it really burning into my tongue. <clears throat> Definitely. high spice thing here. 
since this is dry, it's really I'm only getting it really on the exact points that are hitting my tongue. Unlike some of the ramens that I've had, where it's liquid, so like it immediately spreads all over your mouth. This one immediately hits where it touches your tongue, and then it kind of slowly spreads around. I think it's more bearable that way. Now, as far as things that say they're made of have ghost pepper in them, <clears throat> it's probably the most bearable one I've had. That's not saying it's not hot, because it is. It's just locally hot inside my mouth. I think I could easily eat this whole thing with no problem. <clears throat> Spice level is is way up there. I don't feel my nasal passages opening, filling with fluids. So it is really hot. But since you're snacking out like this way, it's just a little bit more bearable and not as an attack on all your spice senses. But uh, these two snacks are definitely good. Um, this one is good for like throwing your lunch. This one is just like a little added bonus to really see, to test your spice level, I guess. But uh, I would definitely try this before I would try one of those hot, uh, liquidy uh, type things like the hot ramens that are made with ghost pepper. Um, because that's going to fill every passage in your mouth before this will. I'm not saying this isn't hot, because it is. Uh, but definitely more bearable. I think I'm repeating myself. So, with that, I'm going to end this video. And I'm going to say, if you come across this, go ahead and try it out. Either one. Nice snack, nice challenge. Um, I'm going to give it, overall as a product, an 8 out of 10. And... Uh, Hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry that it's not like I'm overly reacting like some of the other spicy videos that I did. But, uh, you know, good thing to eat. Uh, and subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. Until next time, bye.